On Saturday, October 29th at around 9.30 in the morning, God gave me a letter for Kanye West. And the way that he started downloading this letter to me, actually, I think I had come across a TikTok um, where someone was talking about him or something along those lines. And God started ministering to me about, thank you, Holy Spirit. God started ministering to me about Kanye's demeanor, about the way in which he's been portraying himself right and god immediately started downloading like this familiar kanye was reminding me of someone that i had seen or something and i wasn't sure what it was i couldn't put my finger on it and then god reminded me of that movie um the book of eli with denzel washington in it and he just highlighted to me how the way that Kanye has been acting, okay, to people who are not in alignment with Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, he looks crazy. He looks like he's lost his mind. But for those who are in relationship with the Holy Spirit, with Jesus Christ, okay, with God, they know exactly where he's coming from. And in the book of Eli, Denzel Washington was looked at like he was this weird, strange, kooky guy after the world had literally come to an end, okay? So during the end times. And the people who weren't hip to what Denzel Washington was hip to in this movie, if you haven't seen it, please go watch it. Go watch it. If, oh my, if you have the Holy Spirit, God is going to speak to you so profoundly through that movie. But anyways, God was just showing me how Kanye West is exactly where he needs him to be. But I don't want to ramble too much more. I just needed to let you guys know how God started speaking to me about Kanye and what it is that he planted in my heart that he used to download this letter, okay? Kanye is mine in all caps. Too many of you who claim to be my children are focused on legalism. What's a conspiracy and what's not? Pay attention to the opposition my son is facing. There is nothing new under the sun. Anyone coming and operating in the name of my son Jesus Christ purely, wholeheartedly will be labeled crazy by the elites. The enemy has had a hold on Kanye for a very long time, but I am honoring the prayers of his mother and many others by reaching down with my righteous hand and using him for my glory. He has been hurt. He has been betrayed. He has felt rejected. Do not allow his status, the platform I've allowed the world to give him, fool you. A celebrity is nothing but a human with a large platform and their influence can go only one of two ways. It can go towards leading others astray for the glory of Satan, or it can go towards leading them to question the reality they've been conditioned to see and believe. I alone have the power to change the former. You are not to look to man but me. So many came to idolize Kanye when he was not in alignment with me, and it has resulted in the destruction of their perception of him as he has been speaking out as led by my Holy Spirit. But Kanye, my dearly beloved, the one whom my heart is fond of, that is okay. You are only recently coming to the understanding of what it means to forsake the world and pick up your cross. You are not perfect, and it is just like the world, Satan, to throw your past in your face. It is just like the world to demonize what they do not understand. I am with you, and I am for you. North, Saint, Chicago, and Psalm are in my hands. I have heard your prayers. I have seen and saved your tears. Your path is not only being used to save millions in this world who you may never meet face to face, but your children, my children as well. Kim and those who have influenced her will not get away with what they've done. I am sending in my people to infiltrate their system. I am sending help. 
your children are anointed and their perception of you may be skewed temporarily, but they will see you as I do. I know it hurts, but this has always been a part of your calling, your destiny. I allowed you to rise, that you would gain access and be used as a covert weapon in my artillery to blow up the camp of the enemy. Keep praying, your prayer is powerful. You can trust those who speak to the Holy Spirit inside of you. You will know I have sent them. Continue to stand on my word as I fight on your behalf. You are chosen and I have forgiven you. Your boldness, your faith is already inspiring your brothers and sisters in the industry who are afraid of speaking out. When they see this, your words have power. I have not called you to be a coward. I have not given you a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. The enemy can bully and try to intimidate you, but what are the enemy's tactics compared to mine? Was I not the one who kicked him out of heaven when he tried to exalt himself above me? This is a spiritual war and you have the victory because I have already won. Don't allow Satan to keep you from the community, the comfort that can be found in the presence of those who put their faith in me. Satan wants to keep you isolated because he knows that where two or three are gathered in my name, there I am among them. This world has nothing to offer you. Your eternity of peace, love, Joy and freedom lies on this side, the winning team. Continue to go out with the sacrifice of your savior, Jesus Christ, tattooed on your heart. Continue to be a light to those who are struggling to find their way out of the darkness that comes with worldly fame and validation. Continue to be the person you needed when you were at that age. Continue to operate out of my love, grace, and compassion. And most importantly, seek me daily as it is me and me alone who can provide you with the peace of mind that is necessary to continue fighting the good fight. Love, your heavenly father. This was a letter to Kanye West, obviously, and any other celebrities who are a part of the industry, who are a part of Hollywood, up and coming celebrities as well, who God has been speaking to, who you have a pulling in your heart from Jesus and you have a relationship with him, but you're afraid to share that with the world due to fear of what may or may not happen to you when you begin to speak about your faith. God is saying, do not be afraid. Now is the time for you to step up in boldness, knowing that he is going to keep and protect you and use what you are doing to save millions and billions of other people.